I'm kind of interested in windows and it's got the four microphones on it which means I should be able to get a 360 panoramic view um, oh no oh no now you know my password for my wifi <laughs> been interested in playing some games on Windows Phone. And uh, the 20 megapixel 1080 camera with like 360 surround sound uh, recording really, really interested me. Like, uh, like really interested me.
make here. 635. It's a 4G budget handset. Now, I know I've only unboxed a 1 Mini 2 uh, <laughs> a few days ago, but uh, I couldn't get on with it and sold it. Now, due to some financial issues, I can't really afford a world class phone at the moment. So I thought I'd challenge myself to go for a budget phone for a while. I did a bit of research, and the local EE shop, who are my network provider, were doing this one for £50, which is a steal, considering Windows Phone, which I like Nokia's, 4G, that's great. So I thought I'd give it a go. This horrible green one. <laughs> I kind of love it. It's got a 5 megapixel camera. And the lens does seem to pop out. Uh, Red for battery and stuff, I think. So, it feels cheap. There is absolutely no. There's no question this is a budget blower. USB um, wire data cable. Sounds crazy. If that flickers, it's because my lamp's on the way out. Guide. Pull off SIM, micro SIM. So, shall we have a go at turning this on? I just need to get my stuff. I keep all my SIM cards and stuff in a if I don't smash it off trying to take the back off. Which damn okay. What do we have here? So that goes in. Uh, it takes micro SD, which is pretty good actually. It seems to be a common thing that phones don't like that these days. Google especially trying to get everyone to use the bloody cloud. This seems to be a fingerprint battery. I might do a review of this one because I'm going to be using it for a while. <laughs> Thanks for watching.
So, uh, today I'm unboxing a Nokia Lumia 930. Uh, excuse the poor lighting, I broke my lamp. <laughs> so, uh, this is the latest flagship Windows phone. Uh, the comes with a 5 inch screen, Snapdragon 800 quad core processor. At, I think it's 2.2 gigahertz, 2 gig of RAM, a 1080 screen, and 32 gigabyte of inbuilt memory. And I got the orange one, <laughs> which you can see is actually quite garish. So let me look at the actual phone. Let's see what it comes with. It's annoying it comes in at the side, so if you plug it into something, you can't put ones next to them. First world problems. And a normal micro USB data cable. On the inside, you have the wireless charging, so it connects obviously to that. And you just place your phone on it like that and it charges it which is pretty nifty i don't know how practical it's going to be but we'll see i'm quite excited about it uh, it's got minimal terms in here. And now, apparently Microsoft constantly listen to consumer feedback to shape our products and services and following successful trials with our partners around the world the decision was made to ship the Lumia 930 without a headset and FSR's pack. This is a great initiative for the environment, reducing both the use of materials in the process and a manufacturing process as well as a potential reduction of waste. Oh, I can request a headset. <laughs> How is that's just awkward. I love it when they don't really think these things through. And I bet for world partners, they said the people that make it <laughs> to save money. <laughs> Let's have a look at the actual phone. So, I got the uh, orange one, goes on a sucker for bright colours. It's got a 20 megapixel camera with uh, dual LED flash. And it also, much like the Nokia 1520, has four microphones. So, if I use it to record videos, it will sound like I'm surround sound. Which is a good thing, so I love doing this. Some card goes in the door, so it's got three buttons on the side volume, unlock, camera dedicated, uh, the power cable, and the SIM card, and the Five millimeter headphone jack. It's got a nice weight in hand. Kind of feels like I can use it. It's got decent build quality. Uh, got quite impressed. It's all unibody, so you know, no removable battery or anything. But you know, it's just uh, cool. Let's put my SIM card in it. You don't need one of those annoying pins, which is quite refreshing. I'm not sure where my one is, and obviously not one came in the box. So let's see which way does this go in. This goes in this way. No problem. There we go. 
It's got an IPS LCD. Oh, no, it isn't. No, sorry, that was the 1520. This has got a OLED screen. So you get really decent colours and stuff. I'll do a potential review maybe when I've used it for a while. Now, if you get this quite soon after release, this only came out on the 17th of July over here in the UK. I think the US version was the uh, Lumia Icon. The 930 is the national one. I got a free kit with it, which included a portable charging kit, and a 20 pound Lumia um, voucher, which would be quite handy. So, it's more cool. Obviously, it wasn't colour coded. You would have thought it would. But uh, this is the Bluetooth speaker, which I'm quite looking forward to using. I'm hoping it's wireless. I don't know if it uses what it uses to charge, but I'll have a look at that. But it's uh, quite a nice colour. I like that. Well, it uses NFC, not just wireless. wireless sorry. And a portable charging kit. So you charge this up and then. Uh, using the normal charger and it's a portable battery so if you need to charge your phone up you just put that microphone on top and it can charge up to like 90% which is pretty good so uh, these normally retail for I don't know, 60 quid I think so I'm pretty happy with the price so yeah okay thank you for watching something a little different today. So I'm doing an idiot, uh, new series, an idiot's guide to uh, mobile phone software, where I'll just talk through basic functions. Now, this is uh, Windows 8, so I'm, uh, this is my first time trying this, <laughs> and uh, so if I get it wrong, I can redo it at some point, I guess, or someone else can tell me how to do it better. So. If you've ever been uh, seen Windows phones before, the chances are they've been the Nokia Lumia series, which are owned by Microsoft, obviously, give them somewhat of an advantage. Uh, this model is the Lumia 820. It was released at the end of 2012. Uh, it is pretty good. It's, um, I've bought it as a smartphone for my mum for her birthday. Uh, it's got the 8 megapixel camera, 400 by 800 screen, a super AMOLED, and uh, it runs the Windows 8 software. Now, I thought what I would do is just give a brief example about what Windows 8 is about, disadvantages and advantages to it. Now, Windows 8, Windows Mobile hasn't had the most successful uh, history until recently, and uh, they still aren't doing very well in the market, uh, which I think is a shame because I think it's a wonderful, wonderful operating system. Simple to use. It's as close off as iOS, but uh, it's just it's just simple. So you've got the, on the main screen. What you'll notice first are these things called live tiles. Now you can adapt these to what you want. You can change their size, open it down, make it smaller, bigger, bigger still or remove it completely. Now each one of these corresponds to an app or a part of the phone and as the live tile they will tell you something here. So up here you can see briefly we've got the the, the uh, text messages here. So on the right there's a list of every app you have on the phone. So what's quite nice about this is it's simple, it's clean, it's uh, really nice looking uh, you can change the colours uh, to where you want to be. So if we go into settings, uh, theme, uh, you can have it as light, which has it in the background, which is quite nice. But that is uh, not great for the battery. Uh, it's designed for the dark thing, and uh, considering that the Super AMOLED means that, I think, means that. Uh, when it's black it doesn't 
use the battery up. So if we could choose that back down to oh, sorry, choose that back down to dark, yeah. Go to cobalt, uh this choose pink because you know it's me. So click the home button. And you can see it's got all gone pink. Um, the great thing about Windows phones is it, oh it's just simple, you know. You got everything's in alphabetical order, you can't change that. Alarms. You can have multiple alarms. Uh, uh, if you do get Windows, I recommend that over. Uh, sorry, if you get Windows Phone, I recommend Nokia over any of the others, simply because you get a lot more uh, exclusive apps in Nokia. So you get a turn-by-turn -turn Nokia Drive, Nokia Maps, uh, Nokia Music, which is access. You know, a lot of uh, exclusive. Stuff you know, calculator, calendar, calendar looks quite nice, nice and simple, which is just everything you know about Windows. It's up down. There's no complicated menus. Uh, everything is normally along the bottom here. With these little dots bringing up other menus. So uh, well, obviously there's no SIM card in here. Right? So if you push on the phone, it's going to say that every time. Uh, you'll have your history, when you swipe to the right it will come up with uh, your numbers, your contacts so uh, along the bottom here again so voicemail, a uh, little sign the focus on this isn't doing very well I'm afraid uh, you have a really nice simple you know, uh, keypad Ooh. yes yes I know, your phone book or if you want to search now text messages simple again uh, it's just the same way that uh, like all of them do all modern mobiles do it now it's completely done in uh, bubbles you know you and you I can't respond here so if you just go compose you choose a number now the windows keyboard is absolutely lovely Absolutely. No swipe or anything. But, uh, there's no haptic feedback, which is a shame. But uh, it's just just really, really nice to, to type words. Uh, normally when you're doing it, it'll come up with word suggestions up there. So uh, a fun little game you can play is just... Uh, Oh, it doesn't work too well on this. <laughs> a fun little game on the sister do is you just randomly type on it and it tells you, um, gives you random sentences. Now, uh, the only internet browser you have on this is Internet Explorer. Recommended, uh, yeah. And it's pretty decent, you know, it's pretty fast. I haven't got this connected to Wi Fi at the moment. Uh, you know, you've got all your basic functions and stuff there. Email. Now, it's best to set up a easy to set up accounts. It's not just simply Microsoft account you need. You can also set up with Outlook, Nokia. It's very easy to do. I simply recommend this phone because it's, as I keep saying, simple. You know, if you want a smartphone without needing to read a manual, or, you know, like like Android, it's easily very easy to screw things up a little bit, you know, get confused. This is impossible to. Uh, what else have we got? You've got Office on this. So, you know, you decide where to choose it, whether you save it onto your phone or your email or the SkyDrive, which I now think is called OneDrive uh, by Microsoft, which is like Dropbox, you know, cloud uh, explanations. Uh, you've got, uh, it's a very simplified version of it, obviously, because, you know, the limitedness of the screen and not the size and stuff. It's uh, quite handy. You can open and edit on the go, uh, which is a real big selling point, actually. Uh, the photos are quite nice in this. The screen is quite vibrant. You've got your different albums, uh, camera roll for any photos you've taken, which I haven't yet. You can arrange it by date. Uh, yeah, it looks all very nice. Music. I'm quite a big fan of the music player in this. I haven't got anything on there. 
it's lonely in here <laughs> but it's uh, very easy to shoot it's just again <laughs> as I'm using this too often it's simple so uh, you have nothing but just a list of artists or you can there's that button there the little play button which will just automatically um, shuffle all of them uh, videos look pretty good on here on the screen but this particular model is only 400 by 800 pixels which compared to most modern smartphones is nothing at all uh, podcast radio which I think most Windows devices have the built-in radio FM scanner which obviously you need to plug in using your headphones uh, but, but, boom. or you swipe over here you've got the apps which are related to music and video Xbox music so uh, it's pretty good uh, what else we got we've got uh, Xbox Live this is pretty good Windows phones are pretty good because um, you can access the Xbox Live games now if you're an achievement whore like I am this is quite good each game is you know, stuck to 200 points um, but you can access your you can log in on your Xbox profile see if any of your friends are online message them interact a little bit nice and easily nothing too complicated and uh, there's this word again easy right now uh, I'm gonna keep this fairly short because I'm never like I said I've really done anything like this before uh, all the settings oh pants let's try that again settings everything's there it's all listed it's a case of going through it uh, you can't change anything too much on this to screw it up uh, which I quite like it's all easily found um, but, uh, yeah it's uh, if, if you're after a, a simple smartphone uh, then when you can't really go wrong with Windows I think it's a fantastic choice Nokia have got some great handsets out uh, HTC have got a few but they haven't released anything in about 18 months since the um, HTC 8, uh, is it 8S and 8X Hawaii, Hawaii. <laughs> I've got a series of budget ones uh, you can get the Nokia 520 for about £70 which is a bargain you know, it does a lot more than the equivalent Samsung Galaxy handset uh, but there are a few limitations to it obviously if you want to customise uh, and you like doing that beyond bright colours that's not an option uh, which is a shame and also the app store which I'm not connected to Wi-Fi is uh, woefully under uh, under uh, represented when you compare it to iOS or Android it's still much better than Blackberry but uh, yeah, I mean, there are apps for all if your basics, you know, uh, like Facebook and the like, uh, YouTube. But these aren't official ones, but there's a, a really good community that make them, and a lot, a lot of them are for free. Now, uh, other than the lack of apps, the uh, one of my biggest bothers with this is the is a lack of multitasking. It can do things there, you know, you can push the back and it'll bring stuff up that you've done to it. But you can't keep running things at the same time. Now, this is a problem with uh, iOS because that doesn't do it properly either. But um, to me, that's a that's a that's a big deal. So, I mean, obviously, I've got a few phones, <laughs> but uh, Windows is something I, I love coming back to. It's bright, it's elegant, it's simple. Uh, it's cheap. You can get a fantastic smartphone for really cheap, and um, I know I would recommend recommend it. Uh, I really would. So uh, this has been my first kind of idiot's guide, I guess, or it could be this idiot's guide. <laughs> so um, I'd, I'd appreciate some feedback and stuff. Uh, anything I can do to improve, like pre-planning could help. Uh, that'd be great. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.